Ah, top of your bed. Oh yeah, monkey family. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today is one of our last days here in Australia and we're currently at Byron Bay. We're at one of our favorite beaches here. It's called The Pass. That is a hill that you can walk up and see the view of the waves. Look at the waves there. And Connor and crew, crew's surfing. Connor's touching the way of the waves. There he is on his little board. Banks is eating these snacks. Banksy, what are you eating? Connor's birthday is actually tomorrow here in Australia and two days away in the States, but we're gonna celebrate it tomorrow because the next day we're gonna be on a plane and that's no fun. But he wanted the surf he wanted the birthday celebrations to start today, so that's why we're here at Byron Bay. He's so excited, the waves are like perfect size for him, and he's gonna go out. I'm currently freezing, I don't know why. I'm like shivering, and I think it's because this towel is soaking through into the sand the sand is wet and so I'm literally like laying on like a wet towel <laughs> I think that's probably why I'm freezing. We've been to this beach a lot for like in the middle of the day but we thought it'd be fun today to mix it up and come for sunset so we're here a little bit later in the day. How's it going surf instructor? Watch this one. What? How is he not cold? Well, it's actually, the water's warm. It's I'm warmer freezing. than the air. How are you feeling about turning 29 tomorrow? Feels kind of Tell old. the world. <laughs> Feels kind of old, honestly. Woo! He's killing You're so proud. So happy for him. In just a few years, he's going to do it with me. This is the he, best birthday present you could have. He's almost better than me, so it's awesome. <laughs> have like an hour until the sunset, and Connor's going to go surf into the sunset. I really want to take some pictures, so. Most ultimate sunset, huh? So paradise. <laughs> Headed home to make some din din. Number two, I think it's actually number two nine. 
And we are making breakfast before we wake up. We've got some bacon, eggs, and Connor wanted this cheesy jalapeno bread from Paddock Bakery. It looks actually so bomb. And Crew and I picked out a store yesterday, his favorite mango drink. Are we excited to surprise him? Just got Connor off for a birthday surf. I'm eating <laughs> some random lunch and the boys are asleep. I'm gonna start packing. We've got so much to do. I know it's weird, but one of my favorite things on vacation is when you get somewhere and you're able to like set up all of your clothes in the closet, put them in drawers, like hang them up in the closet. I just love that feeling. Not sure if I'm gonna be able to do that at the other places. Now it's time to find our bags and try and remember what I put in each bag because I do not remember. Since we've been in Australia, we obviously got Britta longboard. So now we have to pack her longboard. <clears throat> well, the, the debacle or problem is that we weren't able to sell her longboard in the time that we needed to. And we got it for such a good deal that it would have been way more expensive to get in. It would have been way more expensive to get her board in Hawaii. So we're gonna take it back to Hawaii because it will have been cheaper to get it here. But now we gotta pack it. So come with us. Full noodles. Here's the packing queen over here. Then not adding up. How do we have how are we good? How do we not have someone please don't surprise us? Where's all this meat that we had originally? I I kinda want cake right now. Right now? I know it's the middle of the day. Let's do it. 3 p.m. cake. 3 p.m. cake. Let's do it. Let's do it. Cake, cake, Here's our bags. Cake, cake. Where should we put the diapers? Well, you gotta wear yours. Yeah, you gotta wear yours. I'm not. Holy birthday dinner for me. Sponsored by Woolworths. Woolworths, baby. Get your Woolies worth. We got some chicken skewers, salad, and mashed potatoes, and a hot tub in the back. Britt made a family favorite of my family. It's called Heavenly Pie. She went and got all the ingredients and whipped it up right here. So it's time. So it's time to dig in. First bite. It's not the same. Oh, you don't like it? It's pretty close. I feel like it's pretty good. It is pretty good, actually. It's bomb. The Oreo crust is incredible. It's homemade Oreo. Two birds in the house. They pooped all over the wall. Right here. Come on, birdie. Come on, birdie. It's my birthday in America or the United States. Anyways, now we got to pack all of our stuff to the car and head to the airport. So here we come, Bali. I'm so sad. I've seriously never felt like this after leaving a place. Like, I don't think we've ever stayed in a place that felt so much like home. Just like, that, well, first off, we've never stayed in a place as long as we have there. Just one place. Just that one house. It just felt like home. I wanted it to be my home so bad. It was so fun. We hosted and so many people, it felt like. Yeah, I just had so many good memories. I've literally, I'm so sad. I don't know why. I've never been it's this been sad. saying she's sad for like a week about leaving. <laughs> Look, I'm going to tear off. No, it'll be fine. I think I'm just going to really miss that place. 
Last night was quite the night. I don't know if I've ever been so tired. Um, Banks woke up. Anyways, we're here. That's all that matters. And we arrived at 1 a.m. Bali time. And I can't believe this place. Also, I thought, well, Britt and I both booked this place. So I guess I'm not taking full responsibility. But I thought that it was like enclosed. <laughs> But only the bedrooms are enclosed and the rest is open living. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Here's the bedroom. Here's the pool. Banks and I watched the sunrise this morning and it was nuts because he was up at 4.30 through time to wake up. But we arrived in the middle of the night. The guy stopped his car and he uh so the guy obviously has a sign picks us up in the bali airport drive an hour to ubud we get here and he stops on the side of the road and says we have to wait for somebody and we were so confused the kids were so tired and losing it and then this person shows up with a moped and brit banks and crew hop on the moped and they drive off with this little bali guy and i'm staying with all the baggage and this is where they drove. I've never seen, I've never been in such a unique place. The driver said that there was no way that the car would make it down the road to the house. And I was just so confused on what he meant by that. Because I was like, how is there not a road to the house? Um, but this is the road. Yeah, no car fits on that road. Safe to say we are completely mind blown on this place. Never been in such a unique place. We need to find some bug spray, some food some charger um some outlets to some outlets to charge um or some <laughs> adapters to charge our devices <laughs> It's, what is this? Are you supposed to be included? I don't know, but it's rated 5.97 with a ton of reviews. We're so excited. Thing to do. So Our we'll friends, Kaylin and Kiona, gave us this recommendation, and we're really excited to check it out. Ready? Cheese. Hawaii.
Yeah. Thank you. I just bring water. Okay. okay. Thank you. Not using the government water. Okay. Oh, okay. Some people have shower and water. Oh, okay. okay. You guys don't drink it either. I get a lot of spring water here. This is so good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is really good. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. Tastes like honey. You like this? It's so good. Thank you. Loves his doggies. He loves them. Yeah. Oh, they're so tiny little going all around. They're so tiny. <laughs> Hi. Crew, he's your age, buddy. <laughs> what are your first thoughts? It's so cool how families all, they're all together. I know, it's so fun. It's so fun that all these like little kids get to hang out with their cousins. The driver over here said that there's thousands of temples in Bali, so they're like a, like they said it's called the island of the gods. Yeah, it's crazy. I never realized that everything was so spiritual here and that they literally do a ceremony for their houses and like all their buildings like every day. This is going on. <laughs> This is insane. I wish like video did justice, but look at all these rice. You said that they grow sticky rice and uh, just regular rice. Crew, how's your orange? Show them how small your orange is. It's tiny. Okay, this guy's taking uh, grass for his cows and he's packing it for them. He's literally gonna, he's climbing. He's 67. on it too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Alright, we're saying bye to Cruz Little Monkey, right? Uh, anyways, he's right there. 
We're going to see his friends at the monkey forest here in Ubudi. And we're off. Ubudi! Ubudi! situation so um if i didn't if you guys didn't see i we bought a longboard in australia for me and it was so fun and we wanted to take it back with us to hawaii so we were like oh we'll just like take it on our trip and then we'll take it back thought it'd be totally fine um bought a board bag all this stuff get it to the airport it's too big to fly on this plane of course the one airline that we're on the other airlines would have been fine so i had to sprint the board this nine foot two long board long board is a long board like it's like a board for surfing if you didn't know i had to sprint it to this freight place I'm literally running as fast as i can because we don't have that much time and i get there and thinking like they'll because they said oh they'll be able to ship it to bali and you'll be able to pick it up there i'm like oh perfect so i get there and they're like, oh honey there's no way that's getting to bali like it's way too big i'm like it's a surfboard like how is it way too big so then they were like okay the only option we can do is send it to hawaii i'm like okay and they said but we can't um also it's so expensive ugh, ugh, not worth it note to everybody flying don't fly with a longboard to like remote islands it's just too much but anyways they said we can ship it to hawaii like we can freight it to hawaii and it'll be like we can send it so it's there when you get there and the girl was like, I'll just leave it in my office for like two weeks until you get there. But I left having no contact information. I didn't pay a cent. And I was like, how do I trust these guys that I'm just going to leave my board here for like two weeks and hope that like it arrives in, Hol in Honolulu? I don't know. It was crazy. And just like so stressful. Anyways, hopefully if it makes it to Hawaii, it's going to be a miracle. So we will update you. 